Hi, I'm Mark from L&M Small Engines. Today we worked it on a Kawasaki Prairie 360. Uh, they were riding around on the farm with it the other day, and the belt light started blinking. And when the belt light starts blinking, it reduces the power of the motor. There's a sensor on the belt covering everything. But this thing's like 18 years old, so we're going to go ahead and replace the belt. Then we'll reset reset that sensor so the light ain't blinking no more. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here's our cover here. The belt's behind this cover here. We got this tube and this hose right here. Put the clamp on it. We're going to loosen that up, take that off. And there's these 10 millimeter bolts. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, I believe eight of them. So we're going to go ahead and pop this panel off real quick. Okay, I got all the bolts out. We just got to unhook these wires. You just pull the pin and pop them out. And there's our cover. And that's where our clutch belt is. As you can see, it's getting really wore down. Still, still good, but it needs replacing. And we've got a lot of a lot of debris in there, a lot of belt dust and everything. So when I get that old belt off and clear it out really good before we install our new belt. Okay, there's two ways to remove this belt. You know, you can either take out this bolt and buy a puller and pull this primary clutch off. You know, I think them pullers are like 20, 30 bucks. But, you know, not everybody has them, has them pullers and some people can't afford to get them pullers. So the easy way to do it, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere on your four-wheeler and you have to replace your belt, you're probably not carrying a puller with you, so just pull up on the belt, and on the secondary clutch, it will spread apart, and the belt will go down inside and spread that second pulley out, so you have some slack there. And what you can do is grab your belt, and start get it on the outside there and just start turning it and it comes off and that's a lot easier than getting the puller you know, and doing that, but that's just the way I do it. Because if I had every tool, everything I fix around, I had to buy another shed for all the tools. But that's the easy way to take it off, you know, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have a flat spot or something on your belt. And you can tell this thing's really wore. So it was, it was due for a new belt. You know, I could have just reset that sensor on the handlebars but you know it's wore out so we might as well replace it so I got a new belt here and that looks way better shape than the one that was on there but before I do that I'm gonna get my air gun and I'm gonna blow all that belt dust out of there make it all nice and clean and on the cover here, we got a lot of dust and stuff on that spring over there. So I'm just going to blow all this off real quick and we'll come back and put the, the new belt on. Okay, I just got done blowing everything out of there. And a lot of fine dust, so if you do that, 
in a, a garage or something, probably wear a mask. You don't want to breathe that dust. We got our new belt. And on the writing on it, make sure the writing's so you can read the writing. You don't want the writing upside down. So there's there's a number of the belt, so make sure you can see it and put it on that way. Okay. I'll get it on there. And just slowly work it around. And there we go. Then just turn this back around till the pulley squeezes back together again. So the belt's all the way up. And there you go. That's how I replace the belt on one of them. So much simpler than buying a puller. I got a puller. I can show you a puller here. But here's a puller that you'd use on it. You just take out this bolt here and it's reverse thread. You know, like as if you're tightening a normal bolt, you would loosen it. Put it in there and tighten that up and it pops loose. And this whole primary clutch pops off, but... Why do all that when you can do this, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you you have a flat spot in your belt or your belt breaks or something. So I'm going to wipe this little edge. I'm going to wipe it all down really good. Then on this rubber gasket here, I'm going to clean that off. Clean that rubber gasket off and put a light coat of grease on there. Then I'll install this cover. Okay, we got the cover back on and everything. Now we got to do is reset that check belt light. And there's many, there's so many different ways people do it. But the right way to do it is disconnect. There's these two plugins here. They're both the same. They're four, four hole plugins. Go ahead and disconnect these two right here and plug the gray male and the black female and do all this while the key switch is off get it plugged in Okay, now we'll turn the key switch on. And the belt check light is flashing really fast. Okay, as that is flashing really fast, just leave these two alone. Or plug in for the belt sensor on the cover. Let me grab a screwdriver. We unplug this. It goes right to the sensor right here. Unplug it. Now your belt check light is just slowly flashing. So now we'll go ahead and Turn the key switch off. Wait till the actuator start stops and there you hear the actuator in there. Okay, now we'll unplug this gray gray male out of this black female and we'll put them two wires back where they originally go. So we'll plug the gray in the gray and the black in the black. Make sure they click. And we'll take our two wire that goes to the sensor to the belt. And we'll go ahead and
plug that in until it clicks. Turn the key back on, and our check belt light is off. That's how you reset that. That's the proper way to do it. Some people will take these and vice versa. Them. That's not the right way to do it. So now this thing's all ready to go. So okay, now we'll start her up, and that belt check light shouldn't come on now. And it should have, because when that belt check light comes on, the motor, the motor light, I don't know how to explain it. It won't rev up like it's supposed to. It's like in, like in some mode. So now we'll turn the key switch on. Push the starter button. And the belt check light is off. And it revs up like it's supposed to. So it's good to go. So anyways, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. You have a good afternoon.